radius? Or... Yeah. yeah. So it's 40 feet across. Yeah, that seems really big for a you're in a, Yeah, you're in a small room. That's the thing. It's going to wind up affecting some of your allies, essentially. That's what a fire fireball does, too. Damn. Except it's an instant damage. And this one is spread over the round. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um... It's instant damage that can be avoided. To some extent. Alright, I, uh... Fire. But I can like direct it so that way it only hit. Okay. Actually, wait. No. I mean, I, we, we could, could probably rule, rule that you you deliberately make it smaller a smaller area. Like, would that, that make sense? sense? I mean, yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah. Like, if that I, if that's how you want to handle it, Eddie. Yeah, I mean, you you you'd be deliberately, deliberately like like, like you have but you'd have to make it deliberately smaller, like. Only in a couple of areas, like because it's like if you're gonna do it on the three that are, are fighting uh, Reinhardt, uh, that are fighting fighting Ramirez, it would only be like a 15 foot like line because they're all holding hands in, un in unison. If you're gonna do it on um, uh, the one that's attacking Reinhardt, it would have to be either a five foot square or maybe a 10 foot area, or just you'd have to very very carefully position it. Like you'd have to deliberately make Wait, it small. Why don't why don't you um? Use burning hands. It's option two. Hang on, what does that do? It's a 15 foot cone. It's easier to position and avoid party members with. It's still an AoE. Um, the only drawback is it's one die for damage instead of one die six. Also, you have to move forward. Per capture level. You'd have to move forward to use it in order to actually properly get the three. To, well, you probably you could use it on the on the on the raider on on, on the bigger Kutau just fine because you just have to turn and look at the general direction of Reinhardt and just but not directly at him. The other three you have to move a little bit closer. I'll let, I'll let you move and do it if you want. And then you get the other three. Mm -hmm. The other thing with fireball is that you would be able to position the center of it. So that it would be able to hit all the enemies, but not hitting your party members, so long as everything's still covered by that. Well, yeah, and the problem with Fireball is the Fireball you couldn't make small, right? Like, fall, fireball, I, I fall would house rule that as make being a full round action instead of a sing, instead of a, um, a regular action. So we would have to wait until his next turn in order to actually drop the Fireball. And that, that way you could actually make it smaller, that's the only way you could do it? That, that's how I would rule it. That's okay. Tell you what, if you want to use the black tentacle, same thing. You'd have to make a full round action so you could deliberately make the, the area of attack smaller. That's how I'm gonna rule. The problem with that though is if they escape the tentacles and they walk just outside of the radius of it, they're yeah. no longer affected by it, yeah. and it's a very small amount of damage over a period of time. But that's the thing. We are in a, we are in a small area. We're in a tight little room here, and you've got Ramirez fighting one of them, and you've got Reinhardt fighting another one. So I mean. Depends on what you want to do. This is so difficult. Jesus Christ. This is the curse of the spellcaster. This is why I always play fighter, man. This is why I do it. It's like, yeah, you can you can make space time get high and you can shoot fire and it's really great, but you gotta like, okay, what can I do? How many fucking spells can I pick from it? It's a pain in the ass. It's 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 kind of worth it because hey, you know, you're the mage and you can do cool stuff, but it's yeah, it's it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. So you gotta figure out well, what exactly can I do? Well, there are target spells that if you succeed on a ranged touch attack, you can deal damage to multiple things, like Scorching Ray. You, you should be able to fire at least three of those. You can do that. If you have Scorching Ray, that is. If in you fact, don't... I believe they hit you with it last time. The last time you were in this temple. Um, which is a good thing to remember. I should probably have them do that again. So if nothing else, no, you're giving me good ideas. Don't. Uh, I had this idea that 
I wanted to use. Hang on, I have it here. I wanted to use Spectral Hand and then take Spectral Hand and cast Vampiric Touch. And Spectral Hand casts spells? Spectral Hand creates the disembodied glowing hand to deliver touch attack. So what it does is it basically walks up to it, it punches something, but it bypasses armor. Yeah. How long does Spectral Hand last? Uh, you know, uh, I, I want to say that would be a one round per level or a one minute per level spell. Hold on. It sounds like a one round per level, though. Doesn't sound like you'd be able to channel a spell through it. Yeah, it's um, a minute per level. All right, and you're level 16, so that'd be 16 minutes. Um, Which is 160 round. You could do touch or rain spells with it, though, so he could cast a spell through it. Yeah, I don't mind that. Okay. Okay, yeah. You, right, yeah, okay here's the thing. You have to cast Spectral Hand this round, and then the next round you could use it to, to do something else. Okay. Well, I, I think he could technically say it comes up here, it delivers a touch attack this turn, and the next round he can do... I think. Let me pull the spell up. Casting time, one standard action. Um, yeah, so he's going to have to actually cast it. And in terms of you remember, Spectral hand, 3.5. Around is 6 seconds. So, and that's 10 rounds a minute. So he has 160 turns to use it. I know. So it's like, I'm, I'm totally fine with this. Yeah, do you want to cast Spectral hand? Yes. Okay, you cast Spectral Hand, you start casting a spell, uh, you create a small little ghostly hand in front of you, which you can use to kick ass next turn. Okay. So that's, that is a neat idea, I like that idea. Uh, okay, the Frog Boys. Uh, frog Boys. Okay, the Frog Boys are going to, um... Move forward five feet away from Ramirez, um, and two of them are going to look at Ramirez. One of them is going to look at um, uh, Reinhardt, and they are going to cast a spell on Ramirez and Reinhardt. So, they're going to cast Searing Light on Ramirez. Two of them are going to cast Searing Light on Ramirez, one of them is going to cast Searing Light on Reinhardt. Oh boy! You remember this then? I remember searing light. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. I have no idea what this is. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll find, find out. out. <laughs> you'll find <laughs> out. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um. Okay, how many times can I cast it? Serial light one. Uh, spells paired four. Okay, I can do it four times. All right. Um. All right. Focusing. You're going to. Oh, there's no saving throw either. Uh. Must succeed in a ranged touch attack to strike your target. All right. You're. You're. Okay, Reinhardt. Your AC is a twenty twenty-four, right? Yep. Okay. I don't, I don't think, think they're, they're going to hit you. Because <laughs> I rolled a two. Alright. So, uh... Range, okay. Yeah, uh, seven. So one of them, shoot, kind of? one of them shoots a beam of light at you when it hits your force field and you're fine. Uh, Ramirez... Question, yeah. what kind of energy is this classified as? It is a bright, um, it is a bright beam of light. Like, big white light. And it looks, like, super hot. Like they're shooting like maybe a high focus laser at somebody. Um, Ramirez, uh, I'm I'm out. I'm asking uh, like math question. Yeah. What would they have to say for resist energy in order to protect? Oh, it's non specific energy. It would just it would. I, I think I think it's it's non specific energy. Um, I have to look it up. Um, okay. anyway, R Ramirez, you have a uh, an eleven AC. Uh, yep, Ramirez, you have eleven AC. So they hit with a fifteen and a nineteen. 
Uh, they zap you with this, this beam of light that, that hits you. Um, and actually, let me double check, because I'm looking at the SRD right now, actually. Um, it's... Um, yeah, it's just non-specific damage. It's non-specific damage. Um, you are going to take... What's this, What's it called? Searing Light. Uh, it's Radiant Damage. Oh, it's okay, it's Radiant. It's like Holy... holy. It should be Radiant Damage. Well, it doesn't it's say... It's not, it, it's Fire. It doesn't, it doesn't say it's Radiant Damage, it just says Damage. So it's like non-specific, but it does more damage to Constructs and, and Undead. Radiant then it would damage. be Radiant. Yeah. Well, it doesn't say it's radiant damage. Okay. All right, but anyway, they 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 point their finger, their little toad fingers at Ramirez, and these beams of light shoot. They blast Ramirez, and Ramirez is going to take five die eight each from them, so a total of ten die eight. Ramirez, you take 49 damage. As you are blasted. The silence is deafening. Ramirez, you are at 59 health. Ramirez has been blasted. The silence is deafening. The silence is deafening. Ramirez, you there? Mm. Yeah, he's there. Okay. Or he's fuddling around in the background. Okay. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Okay. So that's the frog, boys. Nick! Just a yes. moment. It does say damage. Okay. okay. Does not specify. Yeah, okay. Uh, Nick, Nick, what is your character? Although it does say it's divine power like a ray of the sun. Yeah, um... It is a cleric. Um, so, the only, w the only way that this character can work... Okay. Is through the astral plane. Okay. Um. Somehow he got stuck. With okay. And I, I'm just assuming he would wander. Uh, I, I'm I'm assuming he would try and find s some type of people to find. Okay. In fact, what he's going to do is he's going to pray to his God. Okay. Well, to help him find either lost souls or souls that are filled with anger and are seeking vengeance upon something. Okay, well, who is this character, though? His name is Nadal. Okay, Nadal. And what is Nadal? He is a... No, N N Nadar. Nadar, okay. He is a seven foot nine green dragon with spikes on his armor and sheep. He's a dragon born from 5th edition. You're a dragon yes. boy. Okay. And you're trapped on the astral plane? It has been. It, it, it the only, the only thing that can possibly make it the, to wherever he's trapped in the astral plane is, that is the only way that he can complete his vengeance. He, he, he in and of himself is searching for the creature or that that killed his his fellow men okay but he's trapped on the astral plane he, he he's been wandering the astral plane for god knows how long okay well i guess you start off and you're on the astral plane what are you what are you going to do i'm going to pray you're going to pray Pray to uh, I don't know how to say it. Correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. Hor or whore? H o a r. H o a r. Whore. Okay. You're gonna pray to. He's whore. gonna pray to his whore. Gonna pray to whore. <laughs> to 
the, the, the god of vengeance. <laughs> okay. And he prays, oh mighty whore. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is a spell it? H A O R. I would, I would, I would, I would just say you should pronounce it. Uh, pronounce it what? I... Yeah, I couldn't hear you, man. I... After the whole fish Jesus thing, the only thing I can think of in time someone's trying to pray is, what kind of Jesus does this guy look like? Because we have fish Jesus. I have regular Jesus. What does this guy look like? Ray, how, what what, what, what does God need with a starship? Ho R. Ho R. Ho R. Oh, mighty Hua! Mighty Hua, you are the greatest Hua there is. You're the biggest and fattest or... Hua I know. <laughs> <laughs> or with a silent. Oh, hoo. mighty Hua! You are the biggest and fattest Hua I know. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna pray or, to Hoa. Or, to solve this whole uh, naming, just call him Vengeance Jesus. Vengeance Jesus! That's St. Cooper. So Vengeance he, he begins Jesus! To pray and he, he, he begins to pray uh, and he goes, God of Vengeance. God of Destruction. And redeeming of one soul. Please hear my cry in the astral plate. If there is anyone like me who wishes to gain vengeance upon another or is filled with anger, show me their path. Okay, I'm gonna find us guidance through this astral plate. Um, I want you to do a straight, yeah, do straight persuasion or diplomacy check to God. Could I make a religious or a religion check? Uh, that is a knowledge skill. I mean, you're praying, <laughs> so I mean that's the only. I would say no because it's a knowledge skill. Yeah, that's just gonna tell you what you're doing. That's my input. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you you, you, need, okay, you so need to make the persuasion persuasion. You can make one. You can make one later, but you you do need to make the persuasion check uh, first. So. Okay. Thirty. You pray. You pray deeply. Um, you, you meditate. There's not much else to do in the astral plane. It's nothing but void. You have a vision. You have a vision, uh, that shows you the entirety of the astral plane. Uh, the, the nexus that enters all realities. And that there are, in it that you sense there are many that need help. There are many that need justice and many that need vengeance. There are lost souls. There are there are many wandering the astral plane. There are two in particular who are distraught that you can sense. Um, but there's also something closer to you. There's something that you haven't had in a long time. There's a way out. There are holes and gateways through the astral plane. And there's a pathway that leads to a world which is in peril. And there are many people who are in danger, including people locked in combat. And it's very near to you. <clears throat> and um, it, you sense that you have the ability to help people right now. And that um, your God is giving you an opportunity to help those people. An, an uh, opportunity to escape the astral plane. To escape and to aid those that need it. Um, it but what you choose to do... Um, is is uh, you, you, what you choose to do is yours. Uh, the vision the vision ends where you're sitting at a table, and uh, on the table there are there are several several pieces several objects in front of you. There is a globe, a small little globe of um, of a world which has got continents and oceans on it. Um, 
another object in front of you is two little little toy soldiers, two little green like toy soldiers. Uh and then on the other side there is a a, a bag of dice. There's like a couple of like six-sided dice that like monopoly dice essentially. There's a there's a there's a 20-sided in there. There's a bunch and they are all before you. And it, it it's it just spaced out very evenly in front of you. Or you feel did yourself... I notice if the two? Go ahead. I was going to say say uh, did I notice in the? Uh, um, did I notice in my in my seeing in what I've seen? Did have I no, did I notice that on the way to the to the portal? Are the two people, or are they on opposite side? <laughs> you you don't notice that it actually kind of jumps around a bit. You're not quite sure about space or time right now. What you do see is you see yourself reaching out to the globe, and then you stop, and you wait a minute, and you look back, and you look at the two little soldiers, and you reach out, and you stop, and you call back, and you look at the dag of dice, and you reach out, and you stop, and then your hand comes up to your shoulder, and you look at all three. And then you come out of your vision. Though I would love to escape, <coughs> I feel at the end of the day it is a greater need to help those who are in the same peril that I am. I go to the two soldiers. Okay, you start focusing on where in the astral plane those two are. And you're going to go to try to see, see, seek out those two soldiers. And we're going to cut back to you in a minute. Yes. Um, <coughs> meanwhile. Uh, okay, so that's Nadar. Um, meanwhile, Spider-Man and Devdin, you guys are traveling through the astral plane trying to find your way to Earth. And you are floating around. You're floating around for about an hour. And... Something happens. Something always happens. Something happens. This should be interesting. When you're floating. When you're floating. Uh. Oh shit. Holy it's shit. almost like you're floating. Holy shit, snacks. Ooh. You're floating, and you suddenly, as you're floating, you notice an object's approaching you. What? Uh, you notice an object's approaching you. Ah! Uh huh It's a cube. It's the Tesseract. Oh, oh, you, oh, you wish it was the Tesseract. Uh, it's black, and it, it's got, it's black, and it's got several lines on it. <laughs> the last thing, time I saw something that was a geometric shape covered in black lines that it was, was an Evangelion and it was a negative space you know Nick, <laughs> Alex he always goes to fucking anime he always goes to fucking anime this fucking millennial and his lack of experience you know, doesn't know how deeply fucked he really is I love it oh yeah Eddie yeah I think the word you're looking for is weeb, not we, millennial. That weeb. That I, I apologize. I apologize. He's very much a weeb. That's true. It's you're true. right. You got to put some respect on, on the disrespect. That, that's that exactly. I, I do have to do that. Uh, oh my god. See, I haven't. I, I need. I haven't need to restart my computer because, like, it's it's all like, oh, I don't want to open up new things for you. And it's just like, but you can do it. All I gotta do is I gotta, I gotta like take the thing and put it on one of the things I already have open, and you're gonna work just fine. And it's like, yeah, well, no, we don't care. We want a sandwich. And it's just like, well, you're just being a bitch. You're just, just being a pain. Whatever. Why don't you go make your your my what? Because apparently you're it's bitch. Okay. Um. So the box in question uh, is it's it's black and it has a lot of ornate gold designs on it. 
Um, and... I feel like I should know this. Mm. You, should. you should. You should. You definitely should. Black. Black and white box with a Nate Gold design. Mm hmm. Make a will save. Ten. <laughs> okay. I'll be fair and I'll make myself roll two. This is Pandora's box. Oh, it's wor it's worse than that. It's so worse than that. You have oh, no idea. The only thing left in the box is hope, and that's all humanity has. D Dark Wolf, I'm going to give you a heads up. You may want to leave the game right now. Just a heads up after what we talked about. Okay. Okay, so it's up to you. You can stay, but I know this makes you uncomfortable, so, I mean, you know. Okay, I already got food. Yeah. Okay. Been eating this right. whole time. You, you got you got you got food. You're good. Okay, good. Um, thirty one. Spider Man doesn't make yeah. it. Spider Man doesn't make it either. Um, regardless of the fact that he should be, he's like, wait a minute, what's that? Too late. Um, you look at it. It's it's a box and it floats over to you, and it stops moving. Um, and both of you are feeling compelled to. You realize it's a puzzle box, and you feel compelled to solve the puzzle. Can you tell me again how. <laughs> Described it. It's it's black with a lot of gold ornate designs on it. You're fucked. Pretty much. <laughs> this is this sounds so familiar. Oh yeah. I know. It should it should sound familiar. Why can't I remember what this is from? I know. I'm so happy. Uh, I'm gonna show you a picture of what it looks like. If I'm correct on what I'm thinking of, you're f fucked. <sighs> Speaking, it's time to fuck the party. Time to fuck it good. Like you haven't done it already. Yeah. So here's what you it looks like. No. No. That's what it looks like. Eddie hasn't fucked me. Well. I kind of have killed you twice. Or you died under my watch twice. No. It's, you know, yeah. Okay. I've died under your watch twice. One time through my own stupidity, the other time because Ray was an asshole. That's true. Um, alright, so, um, you, you are both compelled to solve it, so I need you two to roll initiative. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> okay, but you need to roll initiative, uh, to... Yeah, you're royally fucked. Oh, oh, okay. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you, before you do that, before you do that, I just realized there's more than one person in my head right now. I can make two more will saves. <laughs> I can make two more will saves to, uh, let's see. By the way, what happened to the third no, guy? the symbiote failed. Let's talk about Flash. Uh, 27. Yeah, Flash failed too. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah, roll your, yeah, what's your initiative? Everybody died, Twenty-three. Uh, what's your dexterity? Twenty-six. Uh, Spider-Man's the thirty-six. Spider-Man goes before you. So, all right. Well, good. We can blame this all on Spider-Man. That'll that'll be that'll make him happy. So, Spider-Man Spider-Man reaches out and picks it up first, and he starts looking over. It looks like it's a puzzle of some kind, and he starts fiddling around with it. And I need to make an intelligence check to solve it. This This isn't gonna work. Oh, it's it's more than not gonna work. It's it's it's, it's time. It's you can't run disabled device for. It? Um. Uh. No. It, it's it's puzzle solving. So. Uh. Uh. Spider Man actually rolls only a ten, so he's like fiddling around with it. But he can't really make a whole lot of sense of it. Uh. But he's kind of holding out in his hands. Like, you want to try it? <laughs> Yes, I think I'll give it a shot. Okay. So, what do I need to roll for it? You need to roll, um... You need to roll an intelligence check to solve the box. Ah. 
Um, I don't have knowledge. Knowledge engineering would be so nice right now. Yeah, I think it's just a story. I don't have that. It's just a straight intelligence check, though. Uh, rolling with a plus one. Okay. Nine. Nine. You fiddle around with it. You can't quite make it uh, make heads or tails of it either. Uh, but you you are both compelled to roll the box, which is to, to open the box, which is good, which is good because as long as we don't open the box, I can't fuck us yet. So uh, moving on. Uh, back to the back to the frog people. Uh, no good. All right, Ramirez. Uh, what are you what are you gonna do? Turn. Um, You're I'm just gonna do the same action again. You're gonna try to attack the one frog guy. Okay, roll d20 plus 17. Oh, that's a d20. Um. Six. Six? With 17 added it's to it. Six. Say it again? 26? 26. 26. Did you roll a 20? Wait, no, no, no. You would have, uh... uh roll a... You would have rolled a 9. You rolled a 9. Okay. Um, okay, you hit. Um, roll again. Uh, this time out of 12. Okay, then, let's see. That's, um... Uh... 5. Uh, plus 12, that'd be 17. It does miss. Um, and no, 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 he rolled a 25. Pulled a 25, okay. Keeps on cutting off the 20 for some reason. Uh, okay, that hits. And uh, last roll is uh, a plus 7, so d20 plus 7. 7. seven. 8, 9, 10. 10 total? Yeah. Okay. All right, you uh, you you chop into the uh, in, into the kutau twi twice and hit it. The last time it, it manages to block with its katana. Um, so yeah, you you hit and uh, oh, did you put the thing? Oh, I see. Gotcha. Okay. Um, all right, you hit it. Uh, you're not going to take any more damage any more damage to your honor right now because you're you didn't disengage this time. So you're this is still counting as the same attack. So you're um, you deal. Some damn okay. You heal, by the way. You heal twenty four health. So you're uh, you're at eighty three health again. These frog guys are giving y'all some serious crap. Yeah, the frog yes. guys are paying the ass. Yes, they are. They won't die. Uh, you're gonna deal. Um, you're gonna okay. You're gonna roll two d ten and add fourteen. Oh boy. You can say it's starting to get to me. Just thought y'all should know that. What? The insanity is starting to get to me. Just the insanity? Right. Yes. How is the insanity getting... I don't know. Maybe it's still waiting. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. That, okay, fact, well... It's probably through 16 in the morning. Alright, Ramirez, have you rolled your damage yet? Oh. Yeah, you, do, you, gotta, you, gotta, uh, you gotta roll two D10s, man, and add 14 to it. Yeah, two D tens. Okay. Yeah. Pay attention, man. I'm gonna see uh, again. 11, 12, 13. 13. Okay. You deal 27 damage. Okay. Uh, you chop into the creature pretty good, and it's it's you, it's second strike stabs into it. It's bleeding pretty badly, uh, but it's still standing. Okay. And you've your your turn is done. All right, Reinhardt, it's your move. Uh. Um, how's the big guy looking? You don't look too good. He looks, he looks a little woozy. Like he's still, like he's still, he's is it, he's he's running on adrenaline alone. 
are I guess we'll try and get the last hit in. Okay. Couple attack. You, you just do a single attack, or are you doing multi attack? Do multi attack. Okay. First one, 26. Uh, 26, that hits. Second one, 14. Uh, 14 misses. Okay. Damage is 25. 25? Okay. Yep. Uh, you swing mightily with your hammer and boom, smash him in the side of the head. And he crutches into his body. Ah! He growls and he falls face forward. And he falls to the ground and he's quivering and convulsing. So the big frog boy has fallen down. Um, so meanwhile, uh, Nadar in the astral plane... Um, right as you're about heading out, you notice a portal opening in front of you. A portal opening? Yes. Uh, okay. I mean, it, there's a portal opening. There's a portal opening, yeah. I am still wanting to find the two lost souls. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I don't know if this portal would lead. That. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll let you think about it. We'll we'll get back to you on, on on your turn. You can decide what you want to do. But there's there is a portal there. Just so you know. Mm. Okay. Zin, what are you gonna do? Reinhardt has just dropped okay, the big the big frog. Vampire touch. The vampire touch on which one? Um. Okay, let's go with the big one. The big one's the big one that's that Reinhardt just dropped. Oh wait. Oh, okay, no, no. Let's go for one of the smaller ones attacking Ramirez. All right, uh, the, the the one that he's engaging in melee. Yes. Okay. All right. Do your vampire touch. Okay. Six. Twenty six. And I gain, apparently I gain temporary hit points equal to the damage I deal, but I can't get more than the subject's current hit points plus 10, which is enough to kill them. Okay. You first need to may succeed with a melee touch attack. So make your melee touch attack. Okay. I, I rolled and I got a 20. You got a 20? 26. 26. Okay, let me double check. Because I'm because I'm rolling the maximum. Yeah, well, I mean, you're, you're, I mean, you're 26 just to attack it though, right? Because you got to make a melee touch attack first. Yeah. Okay. A 26 is what you said. Yeah. 26 hits. You got him. Um, you can do 10 die six to it. Okay. Or wait a minute. Um, one die six point two caster levels. You're 16. You can do eight die six. Excuse me. Eight die six. Okay, hang on. Hang on, we gotta do this again. Hold on. Yeah. Let's, let's, let me let me fix that. Let okay. Me fix this. Okay, you said so eight die six. Right? Eight die six, yeah. Okay. So we're looking at twenty nine. Twenty nine damage. Yes. Okay. Well. Um, your spectral hand launches over to the, uh, the, uh, the, the frog boy. The frog boy's clutching his side from Ramirez, chopping into it. Suddenly, your spectral hand touches his wounds, and you start draining life force energy out of him. You suck the life out of him, and it's, ah, it howls, and it turns pale as you drain all of its life force, and it falls down dead. Um, you, meanwhile, gain, uh, 29 health back. So. Granted, it'll disappear an hour later. Well, but the good yeah. news is the good news. Okay, so you're at 100 health for the time being, which is like 10 temporary hit points. But you are back up to full. So all the damage you took previously is whoop is healed. So you're good to go. So good job. So they're down nice. to two. So there's two of them left. Uh, I'm gonna have them make a morale check because they've just seen two of their allies fall. Uh, cool. 
Alright. Um, they're, they're like, ah, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, uh, see this through to the end. So, um, they, uh, the two of them, okay. the two of them, for the mighty Kraken, they grasp hands and they gather together a lightning bolt and they fire a lightning bolt at Ramirez. Uh, not at Ramirez, at, uh, at Reinhardt. Reinhardt, you need to make a reflex save. Okay. <coughs> Question. Yeah. If I don't, is it going to deal more than ten damage? Um, it yes, p potentially. Because. All right. Just out of the protection, so why bother rolling if it? Well, I mean, you could do. do you could, if, if if they only deal half damage, then that means you're gonna they'll they'll do even less damage to you. All right, uh, beach twenty, right? No, don't worry about it. You're, you you don't have to do anything. Right, you got a twelve. Twelve. Okay, you missed. You take yeah. the blast full on, which is seven damage, and you can take it. So it cuts right through your force field, hits your body, and you just surge with the electri with electricity. And you're like, I'm Electro Man now. This is so cool. You're good. So you are fine. Meanwhile, in the astral plane, Nadar, there's a portal that popped up in front of you. What are you gonna do? Nick. Nick. Mm. Uh, there's a portal in front of you. What are you going to do? Um, going to make a perception check to see if I can see where this portal leads, or could I make any... Would there be any check that I could make that help me? You could make a perception... Of... You could make a perception check, or you could just look through it. It's open. Oh, I'll look through the portal. Um, it, it opens up into a room that looks like it has some ornate uh, polished stonework on it that looks like a giant squid. It looks like a giant squid. It looks like a giant squid. And I can read the description if you like. Uh, sure. Read the description. Okay. All right. I can find it. Hold on. This is the hallway. Um, the mosaic tile from the entrance hall continues in this room, but here the design is a squid-like creature done to lifelike detail. The depiction of the creature's body fills most of the odd-shaped room, while its eight tentacles snake around the corners. A large pair of doors carved with fish folk stand, stand open near the creature's eye. Uh, and one door stands near near one bunch of tentacles. Another is situated near a second group of tentacles. And a fourth door is located at the top of the creature's body. And it looks like there are people in the doorway and some kind of fighting is going on in there. Mm. So he finds it interesting that there's a fight going on. Yeah. And though he can see that these people could be in trouble, mm -hmm. he deems that it is more... He deems that it is far more trouble to be in this realm and not being able to get out than people being outside of this realm and being in trouble against whatever forces may lay upon them. Okay, so you're going to ignore the portal for the time being? He's going to ignore the portal and continue going. You ignore the portal. Okay, so you're going to start, you're focusing on finding um, the people that are lost, right? The, the two lost souls. Okay. Alright, you start focusing and you start floating through the void for about an hour. Um... And and you're traveling. You're still focusing and making your way to them. Nothing has happened yet, uh, but you're just kind of on your way to them. Nothing crazy's happened. Meanwhile, well. um, back back elsewhere in the astral plane, uh, Debden, you're having you can't figure out the puzzle. Spider Man just snatches out of your hand. Give me, give me that. Let me try it. And just and he fiddles around. Why don't we work on it together? Okay, all right. Yeah, Spider Man. Spider Man made made an eleven. He can't figure it out, so he hands it back to you, and you may make a roll. 
why don't we work on this together? Put our heads together. Okay. Are you, are you, are you want to do like a combined roll where our combined intelligence score goes to a roll or something like that? Or? Um, I was thinking both of us roll and then add the two to... <sighs> yeah, sure, fine. But you're working on it. We're saying you're fucking with the box right now because I tried on my own and it didn't work. <laughs> Four. Four. Okay. Oh, we totally would have saved our lives just now if you had just if you had just solved the box. If you if you just fucked around with the box, you you're having trouble. It's Spider-Man. No, try this one over here. Try this one over here. And you move a little thing on the top of the top of the circle. And okay, try that down there. And he like guides you through it. And eventually you solve it. And the box shifts open and moves and changes more into like sort of like kind of like a like a cylinder type shape with big spikes and it moves of its own accord and slots into place. And suddenly when you look up from, from, from what you were working on, you suddenly realize you're not floating in space anymore. You are in some kind of dungeon like labyrinth. And if you look up around you, there's what appears to be massive hallways and like massive walls and pillars. And in the distance, there is some massive, horrible eldritch pillar that um, has strange like cyclopean writing upon it. And, like, as a fire is, is billowing in the distance. And, uh, you need to make a will save, and so do I. I crit, which means I only take the, the minimum amount of sanity damage. Oh, Said will? Yeah. 21. 21. Not high enough. You take the full Monty. Spider-Man takes two, two sanity damage. You take eight. Um. Okay. Eight sanity damage, and I forget how to um, factor sanity. Uh, it's your wisdom times five. Wisdom score times five. Yeah. Spider Man's at eighty-three wisdom. Three eighty-three sanity. Sixty. Yours a sixty total. Yes. Okay. So you're at a 52 right now. Okay. Uh, you hear footsteps moving towards you um, faintly um, and a sound of metal and a scraping noise. But uh, what exactly happens to you? We'll get back into it, back back to in a minute. Um, so okay, uh, Ramirez, um, you are uh, the um, a spectral hand was shot out from from Zin that reached out and grabbed the the, the Kutau that you're fighting and drained its life force. What are you going to do? Um, suspend the attack again. Okay. All right. There's uh, there's another one that uh, fired a lightning bolt at uh, Reinhardt. Uh, you can attack that one. Roll a d20 and add 17. Yeah. 31 hit. Alright, um, roll again. Uh, this time it's d20 plus 12. Twenty. Uh, miss. Uh, so you hit it once, then it blocks with its, its spear. You may make another attack. This time roll add 7. All right, 10, 10 misses. All right, you deal, roll a 1d10 and add 7 to it. Uh, 
Ten. Say it again. Ten. Nineteen. Did I didn't hear you. Say it again. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Oh, 13. Okay. You deal thirteen damage. Uh, all right. Uh, you chop him good once, and he blocks the other two attacks. Um, all right. Reinhardt, what are you going to do? Um, can I do an intimidation roll to try and get one of them to surrender? Uh, you may attempt that, yes. Roll your intimidate. So, are you specific? Are you going to specify a specific one or the other? Uh, the one that more beaten. The, the, one, the, the one that just got beaten up a bunch. The one that got just got chopped. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, twenty-one. Uh, okay, um, does not make it. Um, how do you intimidate him? What are you trying to do? Come now, little one. There's no need to struggle. Answer our questions and we will not harm you anymore. No! Blasphemers! You defy our temple! We will kill you and sacrifice you to our god! Rah, 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 croak, croak, croak. I'll be honest, at this point, I'm just really confused. We got sent here to deal with the cult worshipping a giant crab, but now they're talking about Kraken. Yeah. Well, I'm, just, I'm just really confused on the inside. I, I, so, I, I, I know. It, it's complicated. Zin, uh, it is uh, your move. Um. Fuck, what am I doing? Uh, you just you just drained one dude yeah. with your spectral hand. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. I really don't do here. <laughs> um. There's two frog boys I'm left. I am genuinely confused as to what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, Try killing one of them. Okay. There's, there's two uh, more left. Let's just do Vampire Touch again, because I'm pretty certain I still have the spectral handout, right? Uh, you do. Okay, make your range attack. on, uh, Or make, make, your, make your touch attack on one of them. You want to take the one that just got chopped, or the one that still that hasn't been chopped? Uh, uh, I'll take the one that hasn't been chopped. Okay. Okay, it's one day eight. Well, roll, roll your roll your touch attack first. Okay. Twenty-four. Twenty-four hits. Uh, roll your damage. Uh, was eight I six? I want to say or eight I eight? Yeah, yeah, it was eight I six. Okay. All right. Okay. Thirty-two. Yeah. All right. You do thirty-two damage to uh, the one that hasn't been touched. Mm -hmm. And uh, you drain him and. You see the life's being sucked out of it, and it's 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 weakened and paler, and you heat you gain thirty two temporary hit points, and you feel yourself charged with energy. You're at one hundred and thirty two. So I'm at one hundred and thirty two. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's what you did. Um, all right, frog boys. 
Um, Dear God, these things won't die. They five foot step backwards, and they're going to Searing Light, Ramirez, <coughs> and Reinhardt. So, they cast Searing Light on, on the two of you. Um, let's see. Actually, hold on, let me pause, let me pause the recording real quick. Because we're at like an hour. So...